Hey there, TV buffs. Ever caught yourself wondering about the 1975 TV series Switch? If not, you're in for a treat. This action-packed show follows two private investigators, Pete Ryan and Frank McBride, played by Robert Wagner and Eddie Albert, as they tackle cases with humor, wit, and a dash of charm. Now, let's cut to the chase. This series is a roller coaster of emotions. Funny moments that'll have you in stitches, shocking twists that'll leave you wide-eyed, and heart-wrenching scenes that might just tug at your heartstrings. So, what's your take on the show? Out of all the characters and roles, which one became your instant favorite? We're not just here to spill the beans, we want to know your stories too. Has Switch ever inspired or impacted your life in a way that surprised you? Share your personal anecdotes in the comments below. We're all ears, and hey, we're not done yet. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Switch? We're building a community of fans, and your stories are the glue that holds it together. Let's keep the conversation rolling. Drop your tales in the comments. Stay tuned for more interesting facts about Switch the good, the funny, and maybe a few that'll leave you shaking your head. You won't want to miss it, so keep watching and let's keep the conversation alive. Your stories matter. Switch is a classic television series that first premiered in 1975, captivating audiences with its unique blend of crime-solving and comedic elements. The show follows the adventures of two private investigators who operate under the guise of being a priest and a handyman. Their unconventional approach allows them to discreetly navigate through various cases without attracting too much attention. Set against the backdrop of Los Angeles, the series features a diverse array of cases ranging from missing persons to complex fraud schemes. The dynamic duo, with their quick wit and resourcefulness, takes on each challenge, unraveling mysteries and delivering justice in their own unorthodox way. The juxtaposition of their cover identities adds a layer of humor to the narrative, making it both engaging and entertaining. The seasoned and pragmatic investigator portrayed by Eddie Albert has a knack for reading people. On the other hand, the partner, played by Robert Wagner, brings charm and charisma to the partnership. Together, they form a formidable team, seamlessly blending their skills to solve cases that often leave others baffled. The show received acclaim for its clever writing, witty dialogue, and the chemistry between the lead actors. Over the course of its run, it garnered a dedicated fan base and even earned recognition with some prestigious awards. The series continued to captivate audiences until its conclusion, leaving behind a lasting legacy in the realm of classic television. In summary, the TV series that premiered in 1975 stands out as a compelling and entertaining show that skillfully combines crime-solving with humor. Set in the vibrant city of Los Angeles, it follows the adventures of private investigators as they tackle a variety of cases using their unique cover identities. The clever writing, engaging plot lines, and memorable characters contribute to its enduring popularity in the world of classic television. Switch, the 1975 TV series, delivered memorable moments that left a lasting impact on viewers. One standout episode showcased the protagonist's uncanny ability to navigate complex situations. In this particular storyline, he found himself entangled in a web of deceit and mystery when taking on a case involving a high-profile theft. The narrative unfolded with suspense as he skillfully pieced together clues, leading to a surprising twist that kept audiences on the edge of their seats. Another memorable moment featured the protagonist's knack for disguise. In a cleverly crafted episode, he went undercover to infiltrate a secretive organization involved in illegal activities. The tension heightened as he seamlessly adapted to different personas, showcasing resourcefulness and quick thinking. The climax revealed his true identity, leaving both the characters in the show and the audience in awe of his clever ruse. One of the most gripping moments in the series involved a confrontation with a personal nemesis from the past. The intense showdown delved into the character's complex history, shedding light on motivations and the driving force behind the pursuit of justice. Raw emotions and intense dialogue in this episode provided a deeper understanding of the character, making it a standout moment in the series. In yet another remarkable episode, the character faced a moral dilemma that tested principles. The storyline explored the shades of gray in the world as he grappled with a decision that could have far-reaching consequences. The narrative skillfully unfolded the internal conflict, adding a layer of depth and leaving a lasting impression on the audience. The brilliance of the 1975 TV series lies not only in its intriguing plotlines, but also in the nuanced portrayal of its characters. 
The show stands as a testament to captivating storytelling that kept viewers hooked throughout its run. Each memorable moment contributed to the overall legacy, leaving an indelible mark in the annals of television history. Eddie Albert, aged 69 at the series' onset, led the cast in Switch. However, as the show progressed into its second and third seasons, the plots grew monotonous, prompting its eventual cancellation. He, being a seasoned actor with a wealth of experience, had initially brought a charismatic energy to the screen, but even his talent couldn't rescue the series from the pitfalls of repetitiveness. In a notable episode, Ryan uttered golly, a term familiar from Green Acres, Albert's prior show. This connection reflected his past work, adding a subtle nod to his career. It was a clever homage that resonated with viewers who appreciated the actor's journey through different roles in the world of television. As the program's decline and creativity persisted, he found himself grappling with the limitations of the scripts. The once promising premise lost its luster and the audience's interest waned. The writing lacked the spark that had made the early episodes engaging and Switch began to lose its appeal. Despite Albert's best efforts, the show faced an inevitable demise. In retrospect, the series served as a testament to the challenges faced by long-running shows in maintaining freshness and originality. The demise of Switch underscored the importance of evolving storylines to capture and sustain audience interest. It was a valuable lesson for both creators and actors in the dynamic landscape of television. In the end, Eddie Albert's portrayal of a savvy, seasoned character couldn't salvage Switch from its creative decline. The series, once full of promise, ended up as a footnote in the annals of television history, highlighting the ephemeral nature of success in the entertainment industry. This was a chapter in Albert's career that, despite its challenges, added depth to his legacy. And with that, we remember the rise and fall of Switch, a journey. In the premiere episode, our protagonist faced arrest, with McBride proving to be an exceptional officer in catching him. Airing on CBS starting in September at 10,000 p.m., EDT 9,000 p.m., PDT, the show displaced Hawaii 5 to Fridays at 9,000 p.m., ET 8,000 p.m., PT on the same network. Notably, this shift marked the beginning of Sharon Gless's television career. Despite its initial promise, the show succumbed to repetitive plots, leading to its eventual cancellation. The decline showcased the challenges faced by long-running shows in maintaining audience interest and emphasized the importance of evolving storylines. Despite Eddie Albert's seasoned portrayal, the series ended as a footnote in television history, illustrating the transient nature of success in the industry. It marked the beginning of a journey for the actress Sharon Gless. The show concluded as a testament to the challenges faced by long-running series in keeping viewers engaged, underlining the importance of fresh narratives. Despite Eddie Albert's seasoned portrayal, the series ended as a footnote in television history, illustrating the transient nature of success in the industry. After Sharon Gless's departure from Marcus Welby, MD, she secured the role of Maggie Philbin in the series. Meanwhile, Robert Wagner and Natalie Wood, while working on the show, established their production company, Rona 2, co-owning popular shows like Charlie's Angels, The Love Boat, Vegas, Fantasy Island, and Heart to Heart. This collaboration stemmed from their employment at Spelling Goldberg Productions. The inspiration for the series came from the movie The Sting. The show's trajectory mirrored its promising start, but it succumbed to repetitive plots, leading to its eventual cancellation. Despite the seasoned portrayals, the series became a footnote in television history, underlining the transient nature of success in the industry. The challenges faced by long-running shows in maintaining audience interest were evident, emphasizing the importance of evolving storylines. Sharon Gless's journey in the series marked a significant point in her television career. The decline of the show highlighted the struggles faced by enduring series in keeping viewers engaged. It was a valuable lesson for creators and actors alike in the ever-changing landscape of television. And with that, we recount the notable moments and challenges of this TV series. In developing the series Switch, Glenn Alarson drew inspiration from Roy Huggins, who introduced him to the world of con artists, notably through James Cagney's books set in 1920s New York City. The backdrop of deception and cons laid the foundation for the show's premise. Throughout occasional interviews, it became evident that Eddie Albert, Robert Wagner, and Sharon Gless formed a genuine camaraderie both on and off the set. This bond endured until Albert's passing in 2005, showcasing a lasting friendship among the cast members. 
The central characters, Pete Ryan and Malcolm Argos, portrayed con men navigating a world of deception. Their interactions, guided by the skilled performances of the cast, contributed to the show's intrigue and success. Pete and Malcolm's exploits unfolded against the backdrop of cons and schemes, creating a dynamic that resonated with viewers. The collaborative efforts of Larson, Huggins, and the cast members resulted in a series that, despite its eventual decline, left a lasting mark on television. The exploration of the con artist world, coupled with the genuine chemistry among the cast, added a unique flavor to the show. It was a journey through deception, friendship, and the challenges faced by those living on the wrong side of the law. In summary, Switch, born from Larson's encounters with con artists and Cagney's literary influence, thrived on the authentic friendship among its cast. The characters, led by Pete and Malcolm, engaged viewers with their con games in a world where trust was a luxury. The series, while facing challenges, marked a significant chapter in the realm of television.